farewell for 10-year-old Georgia, family and friends battling to come to terms with her death. Georgia's passing has put the spotlight on the police's response to cases of missing children reported to them. As mourners paid their last respects to Georgia, Deputy Police Minister slammed the poor conduct of police in the matter and labelled the 24-hour rule as nonsense. The police should take a case and stop this nonsense of 24 hours. There's nothing like 24 hours. Because within the process of 24 hours, our children are raped. Within the process of 24 hours, our children are killed. Within the process of 24 hours, our children are, tra are trafficked outside of the borders of the Republic of South Africa. Georgia's lifeless body was found floating in this river three days after she went missing. Gongi has revealed that action is already being taken against the police officers concerned. If they did not say to the family they must come and report after 24 hours, we could have saved the life of, of, of Kashem. So that is why I decided that those police officers should be disciplined. They must go under the process of disciplinary measures. Her family is still distraught, but cherishing her memory. We loved you to the end of the world and back. Rest in absolute peace and power, my beautiful angel. Meanwhile, Georgia School plans to honor her memory with a bursary in her name. We don't have the money, but we will find it. Um. Georgia School will also start a Katlejo Georgia search and rescue team in her honor. Deputy Minister Mkongi has put the blame squarely on police failure to react swiftly when Georgia's disappearance was initially reported to them. Mkongi emphasized that the police failed the little girl and her family. Georgia was taken to a final resting place at the Mamilodi Cemetery. Patricia Fasahi, SABC News in Mamilodi, east of Pretoria.